Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 2 the revenge on the pc engine cd rom so obviously it was an arcade machine released in 1989 by technos and a sequel to the original double dragon which basically created the modern side scrolling uh, simultaneous two player beat em up i've said it before and i'll say it again i loved it in the arcades played it in westford ho and i used to get there on a friday night and my mum and dad would send me for chips fish and chips so uh i would um siphon off a little bit of the money and then go to the arcade next door that was bolted onto well it wasn't bolted on it was the same building <laughs> um going to the arcade that was next door and double dragon was the first machine in front of the door for me so obviously i wouldn't lose track of my fish and chip order and so whenever i played double dragon I associate it with that arcade in Westwood Ho. Oh, so obviously this has got CD music, cutscenes and speech. Which is Japanese. And also I got it quite low because of, you know, copyright and stuff like that. So anyway, in 1989, Double Dragon was 1987, 1989 Double Dragon 2 came along and was just a bigger hit. It's more like Double Dragon 1.5. Um, it still suffers from slowdown and uh, it's got... Um, I mean, I love the Double Dragon style of graphic. Okay, that's cool. That's really cool. I'd, I'd love to know the, the, how that building's still upright. But anyway, as you can tell, this is somewhat of a departure of the arcade version of Double Dragon 2. Um, and yeah, so the arcade, well, the arcade was ported to the NES, wasn't it? Which was not a straight port of the arcade, much like the original Double Dragon wasn't a straight port of the arcade on the NES. But then it got ported to all the micros, and they're not bad. To be fair, the original Double Dragon on the Micros was pants, and the best home version of the original Double Dragon is on the Sega Master System, which I had back in the day. This is pretty basic, uh, you know, animation, I'm not going to lie. Uh, anyway, so this is the PC Engine version, which I don't think anyone asked for, anyone wanted, but everyone got in 1993. And so you play Bimmy and Jimmy Lee, I know, um, and Marion's being killed. They apparently seem to be taking it all right. There you go. Marion's being killed. Whose girlfriend she was, we don't know. I think they were both ploughing her. Who were? And you have to avenge her death, I'm guessing it's by the Shadow Gang or something like that. Anyway, that's all I know about it. Uh, I knew it was a thing. I've not actually played this. And I know in the graphics department, it takes a massive departure from the style of the arcade. There was a Double Dragon 2 that was only released in Japan and Europe on the Mega Drive, which is... It's got the arcade style graphics, but it's very, very basic and crap. Oh yeah, and they changed the controls. They're now directional like they were in Renegade. Um, not, you know, punch, kick and jump like they were in the original Double Dragon. So I'll show you when we're in it. Right, anyway, I'm bored of this. Skip, 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 skip to the end. So there we go. Uh, options, right. Right, that, that would be the directional buttons going up or down. It is simultaneous two player. Which you have to do in this screen apparently uh okay odd start there we go mission one right so my health bottom left hand corner player two's health would be yeah these controls are weird would be bottom right hand corner credits underneath the time time is in the middle so if i'm facing left then the button on the left is punch to or attack in front of me if i'm facing this is because i'm playing this on my super console x uh, so I don't know how the buttons are mapped. Right. So, yeah. Basically, what is punched in one direction um, is not punched in the other direction. So look, I'm facing it. So punch is on the right, kick is on the backwards. Right, and then if I press left there, punch is on the left and kick is on the... You, you get it. I don't know why they did that. Disembodied hand. If I press both of them together, I get jumped. And then if I press both of them together, and then again, press kick, I do a flying kick. And if I press both of them together, and then press the right button, punch, I guess, I do my hurricane kick. Now, graphically, 
I would say the Mega Drive version, even though it's definitely considered to be a bad port of Double Dragon 2, is better than this. And as you can tell, we are not at an airport. So the level design does not follow the arcade either. Why did they do this? I have no idea what the reviews were. Oh, I've heard some people say they quite like it because it mixes things up. I mean, it does have that satisfying brawling, chunky brawling action. Mate, why are you doing that when there's no one around? So, obviously, if the enemy strafes through you, it changes your direction. It's, it takes a bit of taking, you know, or getting used to, I should say. Takes a bit of getting used to. I'll learn to talk at the moment, uh, in a minute. I can't, I can't talk at the moment because the visuals of this game have completely flawed me. Look at it. It's like real life. There's no parallax. To be fair, was there any parallax in the original? I doubt it. Don't get me started with Double Dragon 3. It's not really a Double Dragon game, is it? It's not made by them anyway. Because they're... Str I can't remember what the third one is. It's not a third... Technically a third Double Dragon game. But it's very much in the style of that. I should see that's in the main section on this box. It might be. Right, now... Is that because someone's dying? Or is there a sample scream in the music? Either way, it's kind of cool. Right. Oof! Hey, was that a knee? So I'm assuming you got more than a couple of moves. I just don't know how to pull them off. But to be fair, this doesn't come with a manual, doesn't it? Is he dead? I see no disembodied hand. Right. Is it only going to throw two people at me at once? To be fair, that seems to be more. Hey! Than I can handle. And also, so if you don't have two people either side of you, then it kind of flips your controls again. It's weird. It's not a great control scheme. It wasn't a good control scheme in the arcades. I don't know if the micros followed it. Okay. Can't jump off. Gonna get beat. Yes. Figured that would happen. Right. If you want to throw them, then that becomes... You, you, you walk into them when you're close. That pulls that up. And then once you've got them grappled, you press backwards. Uh, or the backwards attack, which would be kick. Well, it, no, it's not, because punch and kick aren't assigned two buttons, are they? Yeah, and then you throw them over your shoulder. And you can people bowl in this, which I do like. Look at the hitbox on him! <laughs> I was in a different country. They appear to be quite quick. Look! We've got three people on the screen. We are living a pretty weak dream. It must be able to handle more than that. I mean, is it because I got it on easy? Hurricane kick! Is it a hurricane kick in this? I don't know. If you love the arcade, uh, you probably would have been annoyed that you didn't get a, a port of the arcade. Could the PC Engine, um, you know, CD-ROM have done? An arcade perfect the arcade? Well, let's be honest, the CD-ROM wasn't like the Mega CD. It didn't add any extra features or hardware or anything like that. Just storage, basically. Um, but you know what? It could have done, the Mega Drive could have done something. It could have done at least what the Mega Drive version was, which wasn't great. Look, this is new then, isn't it? Going up. But I would have been disappointed. Because I would have wanted the arcade. And it's 1993. Why did you wait four years to give us Double Dragon 2 and then not give us the arcade? Oh! I don't know why. I was expecting that to boomerang back. Throw him! What is this? Oh, apart from apparently useless. Yeah, I don't like this control scheme. To be fair, I think I didn't like it. Oh, we've got to go this way, have we? On the um, the Mega Drive. It's just bland as well, isn't it? Look, it's just a bland-looking game. I'm assuming we can all fall off. Let's all fall off together. No! Well, there you go. It's got that retained from the arcade. I just fell off the bottom of the screen. I don't know how. I did punch him out of... Shit! Mid-air, which was kind of cool. 
It always needed in both Double Dragon games, that Renegade move. So now we're going back to the right. You didn't think hard on this level, did you? Um, yeah, well, you could just, you know, get them on the floor and then just pummel the shit out of them. Oh, I've only got nine seconds left. Or have I? It... Wow, it's the slowest time ever. He's a boss from the first stage. And he looks more like the arcade. He's probably the best looking sprite I've seen in this game. Doesn't he, like, he vampires out, doesn't he? Like a vampire in daylight. Ooh, I like the fact that he picks you up by your hair. You can clearly see him picking you up by your hair. And as an emo, that must kill. Oh, we haven't got makeup in this, though, have we? There we go, look. What? When did I waste so much time? And then he just... Oh, hang on. He's just come back in. So exactly what that did, I don't know. Just solo. It is good music. You probably can't hear it particularly well, because as I said copyright and stuff. Die! See, I'm only doing flying kicks because it's a bit hit or miss whether this does anything or he just immediately counters you and picks you up by your hair. I never really thought picking up people by their hair would be a good reversal move, but apparently it is. Who knows? See? He's only punching me in the junk, too. Also, I don't like how they re small pick, I know. Um, I'm just disappointed in this. Yeah, how they portray my life bar. I want it in the screen, at the top, and I want it like the blocks in the arcade. Look, there you go. Here's a lovely animated scene of someone's legs. Mine. And then, here's a lovely animated scene of player two's legs, who isn't playing with me. And then, what do we get? I mean, cutscenes are all, like, animated cutscenes, even if they're as crude as this. That's just a painting, isn't it? We're all the thing back in the day. All the thing. It does have a kind of anime thing going on though, doesn't it? What he said. Anger. Oh look, we caught up with each other. No. See that? That's competitiveness. Okay, so level two. Skip, skip, skip. Skip to the end. So this is different as well. Oh, this is the music. You stole that from Streets of Rage. Yeah, but it is good. Oh, I do like punching people off the edge. And by that, I don't mean a musician. <laughs> I want to see if I can throw him off the edge. Oh, I can't, because i got no one behind me. Wait, no, I can. Yeah. It's incredibly chill music for, you know... Kicking the shit out of people. Ha! Ah, that was, all right. That was cool. Sounds like a sitcom from the 80s. I keep forgetting. Yeah, this is just not Double Dragon 2. I mean, again, system limitations, why they went this route, or generally just thought, do you know what, I don't like how Double Dragon 2 looks in the arcade, even though everyone associates that style of, you know, um, art design, character design with it, I'm going to do my own thing. It's going to totally be better and blow everyone away. Spoiler. Oh! Saucy. It doesn't. Well, that's useless. Right. You made me come back again this direction, and that's just awful cheap level design. The moves, I mean, we've only got two buttons. I am aware of that. Aren't the greatest to pull off. Bowling! Yeah! Weak! You don't even need to do that hand thing. You just let me explore and come to the inevitable conclusion that there's, you know, it, well, it does scroll in both directions. Also, why does the street end like that? Oh, shit. And why am I so shit at this? And where's the bird's feather comes from? Because we're on the ground floor. So what's down there? No, you don't. 
Hey. Okay. Wait, so, yeah, this is the waterfront. So if we go down there, then we're, be we're beneath sea level. I confused. I know it's a game, but do you know what I mean? Oof. Shake harder, boy. That is satisfying slappy fists, I'm not gonna lie. Wait! No! So this should be the sewers. What's this? Get some of that in your life. It's a workout ball. Ow. Oh, you can kick it here then, though. That's cool. It's not the worst beat em up I've ever played, but it's certainly not the best. And I seem to have a, a, an unbelievably small arsenal of moves. I mean, other versions of Double Dragon loaded it with moves, didn't it? I mean, you had to learn them to be fair. Wait, what? I hear a helicopter. I suspect a boss fight. Right, I gotta, I gotta get you off the roof. No, it won't let me. Kick him off the roof. Hey, at least when he, he, he flails across the floor like that, it kinda looks like the arcade. I mean, you probably, if someone dumped this in front of you or was playing this in front of you and you didn't see the title screen, would you think this was Double Dragon 2 The Revenge? I probably wouldn't. That was very underwhelming. Anyway, Double Dragon 2, The Revenge on the PC Engine CD-ROM will be, in this case, on my Super Console X. Um, yeah, it just doesn't feel like a Double Dragon game. I mean, maybe it's got amazing reviews. Maybe it was, you know, plauded for that. But, yeah, I just would have preferred it to actually look like Double Dragon 2. Anyways, always a lot of what I think, especially if you played this. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.